Hi everyone, welcome to a new video about .NET MAUI. Today I will show you how to get started with emulators, both in Visual Studio for Mac and in Visual Studio on Windows. But we will start with the Mac version. So if you're only using Windows, you can skip this part and go directly to the Windows part. So let's open Visual Studio. So here we have Visual Studio for Mac. And if we go to the top menu here, we have a menu option called Tools. And here we have Android and we have the SDK Manager and we have the Device Manager. The first thing we will do is to go to the SDK Manager and see that we have the correct things installed. So here we have all the platforms. So if you go, for example, to Android SDK Platform 33, we can expand that one and we can see that we have multiple options of system images here. So if you're running on a Mac M1, you will use this ARM64 and probably not the TV one, but you will use the Google Play ARM64 V8A system image or the Google API ARM64 V8 system image. But the important part is that you use ARM64 image. Uh, if you're running on the Intel Mac, you should of course use this Intel X64 underscore 64 image. So let's make sure and you install the correct images for that platform that you want to use. And if you go to the tools tab here, we will also make sure that the Android emulator is checked here. And it seems like I need to update that one, but I will do that later. So when we have everything installed, we can close this dialog and we can instead go to the device manager that we find here. So here we have the devices that we already created, the emulators that we already created. And we can see that I have two ones. I have one for API 31 and one for API 27. So I can test on different emulators that run in different versions of Android. So, but if I want to create a new one, I just click this new device button. I give it the name, select the base device. So we can say we can have the Pixel 4 XL. We select the processor. So on Mac M1, I will use this ARM64. And on Intel Max, you should use this one. And here we can select the OS version. And for this, I will go with this API 33. And here we can check Google APIs or Google Play Stores if that are relevant for your model. In this case, I already have that selected and that is the only option I can have for this image. So here you also have some different type of properties that you can set for the emulator. We have data purchase size, we have camera, CPU, EPS, keyboard, for example, height, width on the screen. Yeah. Uh, if it has SD card, yeah, there are a lot of different things that you can do here. So the last thing here is to create. And we need to accept the license. So let's do that. And now it will start to download the emulator and it will install it for you. And when it's when that is done, you can just go here and click play to start the emulator. But you don't need to bring up the device manager every time you want to open an emulator. You can just go here and select the Android emulator you want to use. In this case, I only have one, probably because that of the targets of my project. This is the only one that my project can run on. So and now we can go and say start this project with this emulator. Okay, so here the application is and I can now start to debug it. So let's jump over to Windows and see how to set up the things there. So here we have Visual Studio running on Windows. So we go to the tools menu, we go to Android and we go to the Android SDK manager. And you need administrator permissions to run this. But if you're a development, you hopefully have. And here we have the SDK platforms. So if we expand one, we can see that we have the system images that we need to install. The Intel one, if you have an Intel processor and ARM one, if you have an ARM processor. And we go to tools and we have Android emulator here that you need to check and install. If you want the hardware accelerate, the Android emulator, and you want to do that because it's very slow otherwise, you have two options. You can run it on Hyper-V, and then you need to go to enable Hyper-V in Windows, or 
if you have an Intel processor, you can install the Intel Hexam stuff. And you can do that by check this checkbox. Uh, if you are on a market that has Windows subsystem for Android, you can also use that for running the Android emulator. But that one is not available in Sweden, so I cannot use it. So when we have installed everything, we can go and create our devices. So we close this dialog and we go to, to Tools, Android, Android Device Manager. And here we have it, and we can see the devices that we already created. So we can start that one if we want to, or we can go and create a new one. So create that new one, we can give the new one a name, select the base device, we have a lot of them here. And we select the processor, ARM, x86-64, whatever system you run on. And here we can select if we will have the Google APIs, if you want to have the Google Play Store, and also what Android OS we will run on. And we also can set custom properties here if we want to, like data partition size, camera front, camera back, if you have GPS, keyboard, LCD, density, a lot of properties like that. And then we can go and create that one. And now it will start to download the emulator and install it so you will be able to use it in Visual Studio to debug your Android applications. So we have two options to start the emulator. We can press start here or we can go here and select Android emulators. And we can select the Android emulator here and we can start our application and debug it. Unfortunately, I cannot do that because I'm running this on my Mac in a virtual machine and it seems to not work right now. But yeah, I have shown you how to set up everything. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video and want more videos about .NET MAUI and Visual Studio, please subscribe to my channel and press the like button for this video. Thank you very much and see you in next video.